Hey guys, it's Harley, <laughs> and I'm going to share with you a little bit about how my double jaw surgery went. Um, I had double jaw surgery in the summer of, this summer actually, of June 8th. I'll be almost four months post-op. Actually, I will be four months post-op this Thursday. Um, I had a severe underbite, um, TMJ, and a crossbite. That's why I had that, and it really helped because I can breathe better, I can chew better, um, I can breathe through my nose better, I sleep better, um, but it was a journey all right, and it still is. Um, the morning of, I probably had surgery around like eight something. He was he was actually running early, so she was good because I'm always at appointments early. <laughs> um, I also have top missing teeth from a dentist that did half root canals about when I was in seventh grade and I'm 32 now. Uh, yeah, about three years ago I had to get them removed because they were rotted. And yeah, they were just not gonna make it. So I'm hoping to get implants in the future um, to replace that because all my teeth shifted and when I had double jaw surgery, it was about probably a year and a half or so, a little more, um, I was in braces. And the, this bottom right here is pushing off on this one. And I'll be also, so they were just all over the place. And I'll do a video this Thursday because this Thursday is two years since I've been in braces. So I have to have them on for about four to seven months after surgery. And yeah, um, it went pretty good. I was going to say um, surgery went great. And afterwards, I was like, they're like, how do you feel, Harley? I'm like, I feel great. Yeah, I'm good. And I was probably in. And now I remember going to my room because I had to sleep overnight. And I remember going to my room, but I don't remember much after that. Uh, I was kind of in and out of it for about four hours. And that night came because I had to sleep over and I just could not sleep at all. You're hooked up to all these things you go you got a heart monitor on you got your blood pressure cuff you got you're also a little bit in pain but I was very numb after surgery I couldn't feel this I couldn't talk because I was rubber banded shut and even to this day this part and my this lip part is still numb um yeah it's it's yeah <laughs> um it went pretty good but that whole night I actually did not sleep like I said and I was also, I puked a lot. I only puked once, but it was a lot because the blood was sitting in my stomach and it also it made my stomach really upset. And I was very kind of upset because I had just taken my pain medicine and I, maybe that made it more upset. I don't know, which it maybe it did. But I took Tylenol after that and I was fine. Um, it was a tough night. It was probably one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. And I have endometriosis. I've had two laps for that and the hysterectomy by the ovaries intact and that was nothing compared to double jaw surgery. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just saying the facts. Um, you get through it. If I can, you can. Um, I remember getting home. Probably I was released. I got home at like three o'clock. I lived about an hour and a half to where, where I had surgery. I just remember it pouring out. Um, my, I wore my pajamas home and you want to get like probably button up pajamas because you're just... You're drooling. I mean, you can't feel. You, I mean, you just whatever. You know. I just remember I was pouring out, and I had my slippers on. Cause I packed very good for that, <laughs> and I wore my slippers in the hospital when I went to go to the bathroom. I had to pee every hour, and it just sucked because you know you want to be able to do things yourself, and you don't want to have to ask for help. But I did, and it, they're really nice. So I remember getting home. And just it was pouring out in my slippers. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm home. Yeah, it's raining. I ran to my room. I don't remember the rest of the day. Um, I did shower that next morning. Thank gosh, my mom was here to help me because showering was really hard and very quick. And that's all I did was to get up to get shower. And all my medicines were liquid. They give you your pain medicine. They give you antibiotic. They give you a mouthwash. They also give you nausea meds, and they're all liquid. I think that's all I did was take my medicine and try to um, eat a little bit of protein shake because that's all you can eat for about two to three weeks. Um, I got very sick of those very fast. Um, 
You also do lose a little bit of weight. That's okay for me because I was on a bunch of hormones for my endo. That's another story though. Um, the fourth day, I was feeling a little bit more with it because I was downstairs on that couch over there instead of upstairs in my room. And But I wasn't eating that much like I normally would if I was eating. Um, and I got out of the shower, I remember. I remember just feeling very dizzy, like I was going to black out. And I was going to if I didn't make it to the couch. Because it was just, I just felt so lightheaded and so, ugh. It was a terrible feeling, but I was okay. I made it to the couch. And I'm like, oof, that's over. Um, <clears throat> uh, after the first week, I got my rubber bands off when I had my checkup with my surgeon. Um, that felt great because even though I wasn't able to talk, I'm still not able to fully talk normally like I would, but I'm, I'm a lot better to where I came from, where I was, I should say. Um, that was a good feeling because I could drink, you know, not drink, but you know what I mean with a, you know, hey, like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> um, that was a good feeling. I was still in a lot of pain. I probably took pain medicine for up to like almost two months. Um, yeah, I know I'm saying I'm a lot, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I didn't really get out of the house much. I mean, for the first, for the first four days, I was bed bound and I was glad I came downstairs. Um, I got better after that first week after I got my bands removed. I was not able to brush with my oral B and you could not brush your teeth. I did not be able to brush my teeth or anything for a week and my mouth felt so gross Oh my gosh, I just remember being able to brush my teeth. I was like, yes. 